have the dubious honor of bringing before you today a case of such magnificent hypocrisy that it can only be couched in the folds of humor, lest madness and the explosion of the brain should follow the person who bends down to drink from this particular stream. Jeffrey Tubin, the man most famous for going on a date with Rosie Palms during a work Zoom meeting, said multiple times the other day that Kyle Rittenhouse was, quote, an idiot. Now, call me crazy, and maybe I am. You can find out by buying my book, Am I Crazy? But I think it's kind of funny when a man who got himself temporarily suspended after a bout of hand-to-gland combat was, well, balls to say something uh, like that on national television. Hey, CNN, maybe your chief expert on what qualifies someone to be a moron shouldn't have gained all his knowledge on the subject from being one. And I don't want to get too deep in the weeds about what Jeffrey Tubin did. He watched porn and did what people who watch porn do, or so I've heard. But it's worth noting at least one more time how incredibly dumb you have to be to not triple check that you're not on any kind of work meeting call before you fire up the porn hub and go to town on yourself. Now, it's also further worth noting that CNN's credibility in this matter is on point with just about everything they do. If you go behind the main building at CNN headquarters and look into the trash dumpster, you'll probably find their credibility hanging out and smoking crack with their ratings. But I digress, or maybe I don't. You see, the reason that media outlets like CNN have such low ratings these days is that people have been waking up these past few years to the fact that they just spew baloney into the air and hope that all of it sticks to the wall. When all you serve is the narrative, the truth doesn't really matter anymore. Only the ideology counts. So when you or I present a counter-argument to the idea that Kyle Rittenhouse was stupid for doing what he did, we get shot down as radical morons as well. Here's an example of a good question to ask someone like Jeffrey Tubin. Hey there, Peter Beater. Shouldn't the real national news story be about the trials for those people who did the rioting and committed horrific acts of violence and arson? Oh, wait, most of them got away with that. Doesn't that strike you as something slightly more important than whether the 17-year-old kid should have been in a position where he had to defend himself from these assholes? Now, putting the cart before the horse is just one of the many multifarious ways that the left works to keep people like us from being able to succeed in rooting their poison philosophy out of our lives, folks. Sanity is forbidden. Rational thought is heresy in the religion of humanism that guides the church of the woke and all its supplicants. Now, I'm, I'm rightly tired of the media, narr media narrative progressing so far to the left that it not only demands you accept lies as truth, but in fact demands that you surrender any rationality you possess in the course of doing so. Folks, if you watch CNN, and I realize most of you already don't, but if you do, stop. Just stop. They're committing corporate suicide. It's time to just let them jump off the bridge and make sure our cameras are on. You know, kind of the opposite of what Jeffrey Tubin should have been doing. Now, look, in closing, let me say this. Maybe Kyle Rittenhouse shouldn't have been in Kenosha that night. I don't know. Maybe what he did displays the unfettered actions of a dumb kid who ended up in a place where he shouldn't have been in the first place. But guess what? He had a right to be there, and he had a right to defend himself when people were trying to harm him. And I maintain that even if he should be on trial for a weapons violation, he should be so far down on the list of people on trial from that city that he's a damn footnote. So Jeffrey Tubin, how's about you go back to practicing your relationship with Russell the Love Muscle and leave this kid alone? You're such a jerk off.